Hey guys, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder here, the Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I'm going to talk to you about and kind of show you um, how you can uh, look up the, the items on uh, Bulk.com. So I'm over on Bulk.com right now, and uh, as you can see, you know here is a pallet. Comes with 27 items in the pallet. Um, the price 323 plus $150 flat rate shipping. Um, I've already downloaded the manifest just to speed up the video a little bit. Um, and as you can see right here, salvage. Uh, the reason I'm showing you a salvage one is because, um, well, one, I'm just trying to show you the process. I'm not not saying go buy this one. Um, and honestly, I, I wouldn't uh, buy a salvage pallet if you don't have other means to sell it other than Amazon FBA. Um, if you're not doing eBay, Craigslist. Um, doing yard sales, um, you know, uh, selling, uh, reselling to another thrift store. Um, watch out for salvage. You can really get burnt on stuff like that. So, like I said, I've already downloaded the manifest. You click download, pop up. So here's the manifest right here for this one. Shows 27 items. The first first line is actually just uh, titles. So it shows 27 items. Um, and kind of scroll through really quick. So here's Here's a couple that are the exact same. These Vizio 38 inch uh, sound bars. This Panasonic, these two are the same right here, it looks like. Um, right here, these DVD players, these progressive scans. There's three of those. Two of these disinfection scanners. Um, so, kind of just browse through it really quick. And what I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of speed through this because when you come across a pallet that you want to buy let's say it's in you know it's in new condition or brand new condition or like new um, you are going to want to jump on it very quickly because if you spend time looking over the inventory and thinking about it and you wait another hour and you decide okay yeah I want it come back it will be gone if it's a good one it will be gone guarantee it so uh, I already have Amazon opened up um, so I'm going to show you the process that I go through when I want to buy something. If I'm looking at buying a pallet from Bulk.com um, or any site other than B-Stock um, Solutions, being that they're an auction site, you have a little bit more time. So I'm going to show you right here with this one, being that uh, you don't have a whole lot of time. And with pictures right here, you can't see anything. These pictures are terrible. So, um, so let's get started. So first come up here copy it come over to Amazon put it in right there okay um, G4050 right here and uh, so let's let's just let's just say this is you know new inventory or like new inventory so it's not salvage um, so you can pretty much sell all this stuff as brand new so okay right here sell new for 189.95 you can come over, click, and you can figure out um, exactly what you're going to get back from Amazon. Right there, and that's at 202. So if you do 189.95, type um, right there. So 161, that's what you're getting back um, from Amazon after all their fees. So 161, that's uh, pretty good. So I'd uh, write down on a piece of paper that 161, that's what I'm getting. All right. So back out of that. So on a piece of paper, I'd put 161. Come up here and you go just go right down the line. Um, so right here, uh, let's see, 84 new. So you get about $60 out of it new. You want to check the rank on some of these. So this one doesn't really ha doesn't have a official rank, but it's ranked inside phones. But as you can see, it's clear down in the categories. So um, is that one gonna sell? It might, but uh, it's not gonna sell quickly. So I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't put that in just because I wanna I want stuff that's gonna sell. Here's this one. So is it that one? I, I don't think it's actually that one. Come over here and I'll put in the UPC just to see if it's the same item. So it wasn't that item. Here's this one. Um, 
My guess is it ranks pretty good because as you see in customer reviews, 3,100 customer reviews. Let's go check the rank on this one. 1,442 in kitchen. Uh, this thing's going to sell quickly. So $93, you're looking at about 70 something. Uh, $70 you'll get back. So uh, it's pretty good. So I'd write down $70 on a piece of paper. And you just keep going down the line. Put it in. Is it that one? Um, I believe this is the same one. Black, yeah. Um, so, it's 10 reviews. Um, the ranking should be decent. Corded phones, um, 94 and corded phones. That will sell. Um, it's not. You know, it's not gonna flap the shelf, you know, by no means, but it's, it's gonna sell. So, um, I don't know what that said, but you put that one down as well. Come down to these things that have multiples. And you'd want to search that as well. So right here, thirty-three dollars. Say you get twenty. Let's just say twenty bucks. So I write down twenty. There's three of those. So I write down sixty dollars, hoping that they're all three in the same condition. There's this one that has two. So is it? Is this one? So again, fourteen hundred reviews. Come down, look at the ranking. Try and find it. Ranking 45 in cordless telephones. So it's it's in it's down you know deep in the category, but uh, you know it's there. They're they're selling. So something like that. Let's say write down 75 dollars and what you're gonna get. And there's two of those. So there's 150. Um, come over here, the sound bar. So there's that one, 1300 reviews. This is refurbished. Um, being that you aren't actually selling a refurbished item, um, you know, it, you, you just gotta be careful. Um, it's, it's one of those things that, let's see, this is the CO, this is the COB. So we're actually, we actually be on one of these. Just click on this one. Let's go look at rank really quick. Five, almost six thousand in home theater. It's gonna move. Um, you know, it's gonna go. So that's a good one right there. One hundred sixty-four. Say so you're getting back one twenty, one thirty, um, or like one thirty or so. So that is pretty much what I do. Just go down the line, and you can put your the expected profit into a uh, into a spreadsheet. But I usually write it down on just a a legal pad. Um, usually write down the pallet number. That's usually right there, the very first one. Um, I just shrank all these up so I can get all this information. One gives you the pallet title, um, which is pretty much not important. Um, there we go. Does it, again not important gives you a category, but what do you need the category for? Being that it's probably not gonna be inside that category once it's over on Amazon. Um, there's Amazon demo Kindle Fire. Um, you can see all these prices. Is this actually what are these prices true? Is that really what the stuff sells for? Um, no, not always. That's what we're doing, that's why we're checking it. So here's this one external battery pack. Again, same thing. Look to see if it's ranked. If items are not ranked, and let's say you have, you know, 28 of the exact same item, or let's say you have 15 of one item and let's say 12 of another, and none of them have a rank or a very good rank, you could be sitting on the pallet for a while. So uh, take that in consideration. Uh, make sure that your return on investment is huge if uh, if the items are not going to sell within a month. So. Um, but that is what I do when when you're buying a bulk when you're buying any pallet You need to look over all the information that you get You know right here you turn quantity or you can just see the MSRP of it Down here you can actually see what you're getting the quantity of everyone like I said it's Panasonic telephone There's two of those there's two of these sound bars. I believe that was the only thing that had multiples Yeah, it looks like it 
and so that's that's pretty much all you do and again when you want to buy something you pretty much need to go uh, check the manifest you, know, you need to run the numbers see if it works for you buy it you need to add it into your cart and you need to pay for it quickly I've had many clients tell me they have added uh, pallets to their cart and uh, when they go to pay for it or you know find their credit card or something to pay for these uh, or sign into PayPal whatever it is um, there's been many of them that have lost the pallet in the time it takes between adding it to your cart and actually checking out so again uh, go quickly um, you don't have all the time in the world um, to do this so um, on on stuff like a salvage lot on stuff like this you know you got you got some time because people aren't just just waiting around for to buy a salvage lot usually a brand new one as you can see there's none like new there's two um, but chances are yeah, these have been here for a little bit. So here's one. Uh, so it comes up to what, four, four twenty-three is what you're gonna pay for this. But look at some of the items that are in it. You got a bed, and so this thing right here, we'll, we'll search that UPC really quick, just kind of show you. But chances are, and I think I've actually run this one. Nothing's gonna pop up. See, nothing pops up for that one. We'll do this whole thing, see if anything pops up. I don't think it does. Yeah, so see nothing's popping up for this. And so this one that they're they say the MSRP is six ninety nine. There's one of those. You take six ninety nine off that, so you're down at under two thousand. Um your rankings uh changing dramatically. That's why I'm saying you need to have a another game plan other than Amazon. You can't sell on Amazon. Where can you sell this? Can you sell this over on eBay? Can you sell it on Craigslist, Facebook, um, another thrift store, maybe a, a flea market or something? Um, you need to understand that having Amazon as your only source for se uh, sales is going to cripple your business, especially if you're buying pallets. Um, you will have a lot of excess inventory that you can't unload on Amazon. And because of that, um, you know, there's a lot of people that have that struggle to keep pallets going because they can't um, sell everything that comes on it so if you have any questions on pallets uh, please let me know I do have a few spots open for my coaching program for February it's not too late to join if you still want to uh, send me an email the email address is homemade entrepreneur at gmail.com again 50 bucks for the month um, I guarantee you're gonna learn a lot um, so if you want to send me an email let me know you're interested um, but again, if you have any questions, comment below. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that button in the middle of your screen. Come on today, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, you guys take care.